Alright, um, I'm going to use this part of the stream just for a video to make a video because I see like a lot of the time people on the forums want to get better at Counter-Strike and they don't really know how to become a more consistent player and um, basically what you want to do is train your aim, you want to train your precision, you want to train your speed, you want to train like your spray patterns and with these three things you can easily progress the ranks and get to where I am today, the Global Elite. So. I, I like to start off with doing 150 of these dots. I try and do a different kind of dot every day. Um, this is all for precision training, and uh, I have it set on the fastest setting because if you set it like, if you give yourself time to hit it, it'll just get boring after a while, and you won't actually get any faster or more precise. You need to, you need um, variety. Variety is the key. So. Oh, showing off my beautiful stat track rims and web. Let's roll. Alright, uh, let's we'll start with an accurate weapon. I tend to like to do. So I like to do 150, but I put like loads on in case I'm really unlucky and I miss a lot. I put a uh, 0 0.25. Uh, generally, you want to aim for the lower, the lower as because uh, then it makes the target smaller. Because I mean, if I show you 32, that's bloody ridiculous. That that is just no one's not hitting that so I usually go for about eight because the uh, circles nice and nice and small it's not the easiest thing to hit but that's what you want it's uh, pretty nice so I like to do about 150 of these so I probably I can't actually edit this uh, while I'm live streaming so I'm gonna just back out of this so I like to go up to like level two or level three and then I like to Always reset after hitting the target, try and get my crosshair back to the middle, and then it's a, it's again. Like you just keep hitting the dots and try and get to 150. All the um, credits and everything goes to the people that make these maps. Um, another thing I like to do is uh, either one, or, either or. Um, there's the aimbots training uh, happy map. Uh, that's a happy one. I don't know. Aimbots training, where you're in a in a, like a square, and you can choose whatever weapon you want off the wall, and you just pretty much practice headshots and all all the like on the bots just surrounding the area. Um, we've also got like fast aim and reflex training, which I find really, really, really good. It's a nice way to build up your speed and your headshots and things, and it just makes you ready to go play a competitive or anything else. I generally like to kill about 500 bots, and I'll uh, show you how to set it up. And then there's only one more thing I do, um, which anyone can do. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you're going to play 64 tick matchmaking, I kind of recommend just playing the Valve official deathmatch servers. But then again, if you're going to be playing one like Face It in ESCA and you're going to be playing 64 tick, depending on whichever you play the most, depends on whether you play community deathmatches or uh, 64 tick deathmatches. Because 128 tick deathmatches are good for aim and stuff, but uh, 64 tick is half the ticks. So if you warm up in a deathmatch on the Valve official deathmatch servers that are 64 tick, you'll find it much easier to get settled into 64 tick when you're aiming for a higher rank. So what I like to do is open up the console here. You're gonna put in God, no clip, and then you're gonna put in bot underscore add, and then you're gonna go down to T, and then you're gonna press the upwards arrow and enter to spawn the maximum amount of bots. So then you need to choose a corner that you wanna play in, and you're just gonna fly over there, type no clip again. You might wanna turn your sound down as well because it it's pretty loud. So yeah, and then it's just a case of headshotting. Oh Christ, I've only just come on and I already feel pretty bad. But yeah, I'm gonna do like a bit longer version of this. Probably not with me warming up the whole way. But I'm going to show you the last one. Well, I won't show you the last one. I'll just show you like what to do to find the last one. So this, uh, so this is pretty much it. You fly into the corner and you just headshot the bots. You have the maximum amount of bots coming at you, so you're forced to like aim quickly and react quickly to bots coming near you. Now, if you want, you can turn God mode off. 
except that will like get you killed if they if they come towards you but it may give you that um it may make you feel like a backed backed in the corner animal sort of thing and um yeah uh, i mean i always just play with god on because like someone might say something on stream or like i might be busy and like uh watching something as well while i'm warming up i know it's it's, it's stupid um but yeah so that's pretty much what i do for that i've almost done 100 kills already there um extremely fast like if you want to realistically if you want to get into a competitive doing just the just the dots and the fast aim reflexes that'll take you like 10 minutes like max it's not it's not going to take you like a long time because a big misconception is you need to like go on a 1v1 server and play like two 1v1 servers but that can take like that can take up to like 20 30 minutes when you can just you know hop in do both your online offline stuff and that doesn't even like and you don't even have to queue for it or anything and you don't have to wait for like full servers or anything um but yeah what you what you want to do is you want to go to internet on uh, browse community servers if you're going to play 128 tick deathmatch and you're just going to type in death match and now what you want to do is you see latency that is going to be your ping that's like how far how long it takes for the server to respond to your app your computer so we're going to find the lowest server possible and then we're just going to scroll down when you see one like uh ddos2 Ah, oh, this is our oh, retake server. Yeah, we don't want retake. You want to make sure that it says like uh, headshot mod or free for all deathmatch. Like like this one. Hell, CSGO deathmatch free for all. Um, that's got a really good ping for me, but I'll never get into that uh, because there's no one playing it. Uh, headshot factory pistol. Ah, oh, this is a good one. So when you find one of these servers, you'll join it. Okay, let's uh, let's go for something weird like a uh, let's go for a Glock. I bet everyone's playing the SPs. I'm really bad with the Glock as well. It's something I need to like uh, practice on. But it's like headshot only. Man, I haven't warmed up at all. I need to. I should have done like a proper warm up before I could, uh, before I started on this. I just wanted to like take the chance to. You know, thank thank people for sticking with me, sort of thing, and to actually show you what I do to warm up. Oh man, I just got trashed. Ooh. I bet it's so easy to knife people on there when they got the deagle, because like a lot of people can't actually use the deagle. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna end it here and do do my outro because I can't actually edit the uh, the video when I upload it to YouTube. So uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been magnificent, Manus. That's how I warm up. Has been magnificent. Anyway, fucking hell.